Remember when we thought flying cars were kind of just around the corner? And how long have we been waiting for that? Well, CBS News correspondent John Blackstone is here to tell us the future is now almost. Uh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> I had the opportunity to do a story for CBS Sunday Morning to see how people who don't even have a pilot's license may soon be able to take off in that elusive machine, the flying car. Many people have imagined pulling a flying car out of their garage. Marcus Lang is actually doing it. And he wants others to do it too. His company, Opener, plans to start selling the aircraft called Blackfly within the next few weeks. I believe that vehicles like this and other vehicles like this are going to revolutionize transportation going forward. Uh, this is just the very beginning. Blackfly's carbon fiber body hides sophisticated electronics. And if you look back in here, you'll be able to see that there's three flight computers. But its real secret is in its small but powerful electric motors. You showed us how powerful this was in your lab. I believe you were blown away, literally. <laughs> that was three years ago when after a decade of keeping his project this secret, Lang gave us a tour of his Silicon Valley factory. Back then, however, we couldn't actually see it fly. But this past week, Ling took us to his California test site. Ling prefers to call it a personal aerial vehicle. The FAA classifies it as an ultralight aircraft with limitations. This aircraft would like to fly a lot faster than at maximum speed we're allowed to operate at, which is 62 miles an hour. It can't fly over populated areas, and its range is only about 25 miles. But ultralights do come with one big advantage. You don't have to be a certified pilot. John, we're going to be putting you in this aircraft. <laughs> to prove that just about anyone can fly it, Lang was willing to put a reporter with no experience as a pilot in Blackfly's single seat. They're fun to fly. You'll see. To prepare, I had to practice on a virtual reality simulator, which in the beginning had some challenges. See those trees there? I better be careful. Ah! Woo! But since Blackfly can pretty much fly itself, I was ready. <laughs> Fun, but certainly out of my price range when it goes on sale later this month. While Ling won't yet reveal the cost, the first buyers are likely to be those with at least a couple of hundred thousand dollars to spare. Took me a minute to get the nerve, you know? <laughs> I, I had to think about it for a bit. But Ling's goal is to step up production this is where the automobile was uh, 120 years ago. And bring down the price to finally make the flying car a practical reality. Are you good to go again sometime? Absolutely. How about in five minutes? <laughs> okay, five minutes. <laughs> And on that second flight, I could relax just a little bit and enjoy the scenery. And it may be hopeful that one day this kind of flight could be routine. I hope we all see wow. the day. It's just amazing. And you, you were telling me that really the way this plane is now, the way this flying car is now, is just scratching the surface of the potential mm -hmm. of it? Uh, certainly, this, this aircraft could go faster, could go further with its electric motors, electric batteries, than it's allowed to go and be considered an ultralight. That's the key, though, to letting folks like me get in it, mm -hmm. is that it's, it can't fly over populated areas. Right. It's, its speed is limited, but it's a gas. So flight number one, when you <laughs> took off, was it scary? Was it fun? What was the feeling? Uh, it, it was, I thought well, I was in Jeff Bezos going <laughs> off into space. Right? You looked very wow. confident. I mean, it really took off. What's it like to steer? Is it, is it heavy? Or well, what's it like well, landing? Here's the thing. Here's the reason I was allowed to go in it, willing to go in it. It flies itself. You just okay. It. I had to push the button to take off. Okay. That's it. Mm. I had to go in the simulator because in case in the very unlikely event that something goes wrong, uh -huh. I could bring it back. But um, thankfully, that nothing. didn't happen. Yes. <laughs> that didn't happen. Triple, here triple redundancy yeah. on everything. They assured go. me. That's yes. great. Fun. Fun stuff. Good. It was indeed. All right, John. You look like a pro <laughs> yeah. doing it. Very confident. John Glenn. <laughs> or George Jetson. Yes. Yeah, both. <laughs>